Egypt. You're from Egypt? <laughs> I don't know. What so, never will I say that again. Go ahead and throw it up there, whatever you think, and then we'll ask these amazing students yes. if there's any trouble. No, no, I incorrect. <laughs> Can't let it be that. You guys liking this? Yes. yes. Yeah, he's right. So again, hey, just stay there a second. So where's the negative? Put put a negative sign underneath the negative for us, just to be clear what's going on. Yeah. And then where's the verb? The verb. Put a V under the verb. What? Yep. Uh, put a, put a V for verb. V. Yeah. Just okay. And then another V. Listen. And then where's the subject? Yeah. This is weird. Yeah. And this is why it's called negative, because the negative is on the front, inversion, because you invert it into a Big Mac. You see that you see the bread with the cheese in the middle? It's like a question word or hey, thank you, I was these. Alright, let's practice a little bit. Um, let's practice, let's keep going down the list here, okay, to make sure you understand each one of these and give an example. Uh, yesterday I think we got to in no case. Um, can somebody give me a nice sentence for in no way? In no way uh, will I go to the theater. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting. This word is best used with like a past modal to talk about something you would, should, or couldn't do in the past. So it could work with this. Let's let's change it. In no way would I go. Would I go to the theater? Theater. theater. Yeah. So where's the verb? Uh, oh, where's the negative? There it is. Is it implicit or explicit? Uh, it's explicit. It's explicit, yeah. Uh, verb? Yeah, well, we'll go. Good. So you did it right. Good job. Can somebody give me one for never? Somebody new? Yeah. Never will I talk to you. Good. <laughs> never will I. Talk to you. Excellent. So you got your again your negative verb subject verb. You guys okay? All right. Let's see. No longer. No longer. Can someone over here? No longer. Ikram. No longer we have time. <laughs> Making me cry. No longer. Are we friends? Yeah. yeah. Are we? Friends. I have a question. Yes, sir. How can I make it a question? You, you can. It. And the reason is because you can't put the negative on the front of a question. Got it. Good, good question. Thank you. Negative. Uh, and it, well, this whole thing is a negative, right? Now this is interesting too. It, you don't always have to have an auxiliary verb with it sandwiched in the middle. In this, in this situation, the V verb is just right here and then the subject, okay? Uh, how about, excuse me, uh, nowhere. Now, when I use nowhere, what, of course, you know what where refers to. Yeah, Please. nowhere. So can somebody help me nowhere? Nowhere, I'm going to go. Nowhere is he nowhere going? Nowhere, I, nowhere will I miss you. Nowhere will I'm going to that place. We need to use time. Nowhere will, will I stay here. Nowhere I will be. So, try using a have or a has with it. Like, nowhere have I seen such tragedy. Nowhere, uh, nowhere uh, have I seen, I seen it. Nowhere I see. Nowhere have I seen such beauty. 
sit in the pool in the hot tub and everybody thinks you're at the hotel. Yeah, Did I, you ever do that? Yeah. Right. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Terrible. Okay. His cousin. Yeah. All right. Can anybody do not since and then a time freeze? Not since tomorrow. Oh, hold on. I know you're going to do it. Let's get somebody new. Not since yesterday. Where? Uh, where we? Eat. Oh, it's, it's a vote of us. No. Try to have. Not since yesterday have I... Have I talked to you? Met you. You... <laughs> yeah, it's very traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> Not since yesterday have I... Met you. Talked to you. You can say that, yeah. And how sad. You haven't talked to me for a whole day. Yeah, you're yeah, right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> On no account. Uh, just before we... Uh, yeah. They used the sentence not until he saw the room. Did he understand the problem? Okay. Not until... He saw the room. He what? He saw the room. He saw the the... Room. Did he understand the problem? Did he understand the Good problem? All right, let's take a look at this baby. All right, so where's the negative? Not the negative. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, yeah. But so. then you put the subject after. Anybody, can anybody solve the riddle here? Where did you, by the way, where did you see that? Just Okay, yeah, um, not until he saw the room. Okay, so 
What do we have here, by the way? What is until? It starts uh, what kind? Uh, and now that I do. It deals with time. It's an adverb. Listen, it can start a prepositional phrase of time. Remember, prepositional phrases often they often act like adverbs, but they're phrases. And even sometimes they act like adjectives, but a lot of times prepositional phrases act like adverbs. So you got to be careful. Sometimes you just have a phrase, prepositional phrase of time. Up here you have a what? Just an adjective. Yeah, with what though? It's followed by? Substitute. What's this? Now what is it? Adverb clause. Bingo. It's an adverb clause. So this is an important rule. When the until is followed by a time clause, then guess what? The subject and verb inside the adverb clause stay the same. And our cheeseburger happens over here in the main clause. You with me? You said, where's the subject? So here's the main verb, main sentence, right? Where's the subject? Where's the verb? See that? So I'm really glad you pointed that out. Um, it's kind of like, you remember when we talked about not only in, in Unit 1? Same thing, it's negative inversion. Matter of fact, it's in here somewhere, isn't it? Of course it's not. But it's, it's the same idea with a, um, with a not only. It's a negative, it's all it is, it's negative inversion. Remember when you put the not only on the front? Same thing happened over on the other end. Um, so anyway, whenever this not until is followed by... Okay, it's a clause. The inversion happens over here on these on the main clause. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Uh, Great observation. Yeah. What is the difference between explicit and implied? Yes. Yeah, somebody tell him. What's explicit mean? Explicit. I'm sorry. It's quite obvious in the beginning of the sentence or something. Not yes. something you can solve. Yeah, you can see. It's right there. The negative is right there. And all of these, you see the negative, right? Yeah. Implied, you don't see the negative, but it's inferred. All right. What about implied? Implied is the same thing as inferred. It's indirect. So when, once we get over here, you'll notice there is no not or never. Mm -hmm. See that? But it's implied with these words that it's negative. Okay? Now, uh, let's take a look at another one. Um, hey, both, by the way, both of those work the same way. Not until, not since. By the way, I can turn this into an adverb clause, too. Not since. Can you put a subject and verb in here? Not since he... Uh, arrived to school. Not since he arrived at school. <clears throat> Have I talked to you? Oh, well, yeah. You could make something else, but... So, again, it's just, this stays normal, right? And all you've done here is added an adverb clause there. Everybody okay? Um, uh, I have another question. Yes. Why would you not put had? Never since he arrived at school. It is a good question. And it's because of the adverb sequence of tenses. Did you guys get the sheet I gave you on adverb? If the since adverb clause is in the past, then over here, I talk. It actually is in the past. Uh, it's at what is this? Have I talked? It's present perfect. It's a good question. Is the tense right? Not since he arrived at until school. Now. Yeah, since uh, this time until now. Not since he arrived at school have I talked. Yeah, you could say, because it's just some point, and then right now, this never happened, right? Uh, because I, the reason why I asked about had, yeah. because this is a, a past perfect. We have two, yeah. Uh, one, 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 one. 
It all depends on where you want this, right? Like the second event in this sentence is right here in the present. Uh, could you throw it in the past? Uh, not since he arrived at school had I talked to him. Maybe you're talking about two days ago, two things that happened. Yes. To someone. So it's possible. It just depends on what you want to communicate. This is not wrong, though. I don't like the sheet. You yeah, where's the little sheet? Since we'll go with the sim, uh, present perfect. If it's simple, past, we use the present perfect. Simple past, present perfect. There you go. So, I mean, this is definitely right. It would be... Listen, that sheet, it's almost perfect. It, would there ever be a situation where you wanted to use that name? Maybe. Maybe. This, this, okay. Good question. Um, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, take a look at on no account. This one works best for the future. On no account will I. There you go. No one wants to talk to you. Man, nobody, nobody. I'm giving you guys like the perfect opportunity to just hate me today. On, Don't worry. On, on no account will I talk to you. So, again, there's your negative. Verb, subject, verb. Yippee skippy. All right? Everybody okay? Once you get it, man, it's not, I don't think it's too bad. It's not too hard, I don't think. Um, how about under no circumstances? Well, I will talk to you. Under no circumstances will I talk to you. Ever. Right? All right. Now let's jump over to implied negation. Hardly ever. They're similar. I mean, they just have a little, it's just implied. Hardly ever. That means like 99%, right? Hardly ever, or almost 0% of the time, you hardly ever. Had he called me? Hardly ever has he called me. Hardly ever has he called me. In few cases. Can I use the F conditions with the condition of the. Give me, try it. Hardly ever, if I meet you, I'll kiss you. No. <laughs> no. That would be a never. <laughs> okay. Uh, in few cases. In few cases. In few cases, you are right. In few. In few cases, are you right? That would work. In few cases, are you right? Are you right? In few cases, are you? Right. Again, this is your implied negative. In few cases, of course that's uh, predicate and adjective on the other. All right. Um, okay, here's another weirdo. There it is right there. Remember the only, the only if, only when, only, there's a whole bunch of them, only after. Listen, it's, it's really an implied negation when you say only on the front. Okay, so can somebody give me, yes. Only when I see him, I smile. Okay, only when I see him. Uh, listen, let's get the auxiliary verb in there. Only when I see him, I smile. Put the, can you put a little helping verb in there? Like I was. Do. I, yeah. Only. Only. Yeah. Comma or no comma? Comma. Only when I see him do I smile. Good. It is a question. It is not a question. And if your teacher marks it as a tag, you should say, dear teacher, please turn to page 103 in the SSP 109 book. Today I'd like to point out some grammar. <laughs> and they should give you bonus points. All right. Um, good. Now, now this is interesting. What if I put the do I smile up front? Do I smile? Then what do I have to say? Do I smile when I... No, no. What if I stick this up here? What 
what is it? Then what do I do? I smile. I smile. Do I smile? No, I smile no. only when I see him. Good. I smile only. I smile only. only when I see him. Everybody okay? It goes back to regular word order. Okay. Um, very good. How about rarely? Uh, yes, you can. Rarely should you use the restroom during class. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, did you catch that? <laughs> um, how about seldom? This is, it's kind of like rarely. Seldom. Almost never, right? Seldom. What about you? Make you I go to Washington. What's that? Seldom I go to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> when, though? Seldom do I go to the bathroom? Seldom my cousin do mistakes. Seldom, wait a minute, seldom, wait a minute, seldom do I the bathroom during class. Maybe, yeah? Uh, and what did you say? Uh, seldom. Seldom do my cousin. So, hold on, seldom do my cousin. Be careful, do cousin he. Does, does, does. Seldom does my cousin does his cousin does my cousin does mistakes do mistakes do why does do seldom does my cousin does mistakes do do mistakes um. Why is it do? Before you use the sound here. Goes my cousin. So the, there is the uh -huh. does do. So <laughs> it's because it's because when you add, you really have two verbs, don't you? But when you put the does on there, remember it changes it. The main verb. You don't you don't say. Does make, makes. I mean, it loses the s. It's just an. It's funny because you just use do do twice. Yeah. We do yeah. You have a question? No. Um. Okay. Negative conjunctions. These are these are nice. Um. Again, we already talked about neither nor, right? It's used with two negatives. Um. But also. Yeah. What what about just neither on the front? Neither do I live. Yeah. So if I put on give, give me a nice sentence. Hello. Neither but yeah, neither do I. Okay. Live. Yeah. Now, what I want to say is, it did, of course, it sounds funny by itself, right? But maybe in front of it, you said something like, "I don't play soccer." Period. Neither do I play football. You see that? John, are you okay? Yeah. All right. Um, nor same thing. If you stick a nor on the front, nor do I play football. So I don't play soccer. Did you nor... really make it in the bus? Yeah. So if you're talking about something you d didn't do in the past, you could say um, neither did I play. Yeah. Neither did I play football. Or you could say neither will I play football. Um, I don't play football now. Neither will I play football in the future. Okay. Uh, not only, but also. Um, Somebody give me a not only but also. Anybody? How to? How to? Not only. Be no. careful. This is a double paired conjunction, right? Not only. So, not only uh, me. Yes, sucker. Or what? Uh, Do me whatever you want. Not only you. My hand is like your tongue. You just yeah. speak. Yeah. Not, not only. Do I? Do I? Not only. 
Do I have less sukkah? That's also. So remember with remember with paired conjunctions, you want to put equal. Why don't you just put two subjects instead of a verb in there? Not only you, but also I. Hold on a second, Ikram. You want to help him out? Not only. But also, I don't like. I don't play. This is, like this is a, don't follow the rules and then just invert the subject verb on the end. So mention two things he doesn't play. So yeah, not, not only you, not only soccer. There you go. Not only soccer, but also but, uh, basketball. Not only basketball, do I play? Yeah. Right. This sounds really weird, but because we don't do it that often, but. Not only soccer, but Teacher, but also basketball. Can you say not only uh, not only uh, you, but also me uh, do uh, what do, you do we oh. play? Uh, so say not only you, but also me uh, do we play? So. So you're trying to put the, the subject pronoun in there, not only you, but also I mm -hmm. play soccer. Do we play soccer? Not only I, but also you do we play soccer. Sound weird. That sounds really bizarre. What Let's come back to that. I gotta think about that. What were you gonna say? <laughs> yeah, not only my sister, but also my parents are here. All right, so listen, here's the deal. Here's the deal. He he brings up a great point. Go everybody go to sixty-five, okay? Here, Here's, here's the way it's got to work. i got to change that up front. Go to 65 real quick. Thank you, Faisal. You're He's welcome, taking us back to the paired conjunctions page to remind us. Okay. Oops, let me get there. It, I just, it just hit me what I'm doing that might be confusing you and me. Um, all right. So you have a not only but also, right? Yeah. Now, it says not only my sister but also... Not only my mother, but also my sister is here. Yeah. Is there any inversion here? No. No. And that's because there is no verb to invert right after not only. But if we were to put a clause right after not only, so if we said something like, not only do I play soccer, but also, I play football. It, it doesn't work in the example you, you showed, or it looks like it's just being normal, because there is no there is no clause right after the negative. Does that make sense? Let's check it out. Let's try writing it up here. And see what we have done. Not only do I play soccer, but also I play because I play soccer, but also whatever, football. Not only do I play soccer, but also I play football. So in this situation, and this is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a long sentence, but it is parallel, and the negative inversion happened right here, didn't it? And then you've got, you actually have a whole nother, but also I play football 
Really, you have two independent clauses with a but also. Does that make sense? It's super long. It only works, though, when you have, man, if you want to make a cheeseburger, you got to have the bread and you got to have the meat. So that's why you need an independent clause in there. All right. Does that make sense? And, and of course, create another independent clause over here so it's, it's parallel. Welcome back. All right. Are you okay? Are you okay? Again, listen, we don't use this a lot in, in spoken English, but you could use it in papers. It's possible. Let's practice. Let's just go practice, practice. Um, go back to page... Yes, 102. We're actually at one. We're on 103, and here's what I want to happen. You take. You see up here A on page 103. You're right. I did. You take two. I did that one on the board already. You take two. You take three. You take four. You okay? You want to take four? You take five. You take six, seven, and uh, how about you take eight? Put them on the board once you have them. Okay. The rest of you should write write what you believe the answers to be underneath the sentences. And let's see. Um, how did, yeah, yeah. Will you work with him? 